Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and this is a review to my blind commentary, blind reaction to season 1 episodes 2-5 to five of the Owl House. This was our second Owl House reaction, the first one where we really dive into the series and get a good chunk of Owl House to consume, in this case the next four episodes of the series. It was pretty fun. I, I pretty much, I will say that I on, I probably liked every episode, I think, more than the first one. And I honestly would say that I probably liked every episode more than the last. So, like, I would say that probably, probably, and I have not rewatched the episodes yet, but at least right after watching it, because, of course, I'm recording this review right after finishing watching, I think I liked episode five more than four, which I liked more than three, which I liked more than two. I think three and four might be interchangeable, though. I liked both of those episodes pretty equally. Uh, but five was definitely my favorite, and I, I'd say two, while I did like two more than the first episode, I think, two was probably my least favorite episode of this set. So I more or less liked the episodes more the further we got into the set, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, four more episodes of Owl House down, so we got five left, uh, sorry, five down, 14 to go, so four more reactions to Owl House, and then this series will, of course, go on a leave of absence until we get season two, so... Fun times, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the show a fair bit. I, I'm not, I'm not completely blown away by the show, but there are a lot of things I like. I really like the, the characters are pretty cool. Um, you know, Ida is amazing. I adore her. She is fantastic. Uh, but I'm enjoying the characters quite a bit. I really, like I said, voice acting, animation, that type of stuff is great. Um, the OP is pretty interesting. The OP is pretty cool. I don't think it's a like visually, it's incredible. Um, as far as the music goes, it's pretty decent. Um, but I definitely need to listen to it more to see just how iconic it'll be. I don't think it's going to really resonate with me as, like, an iconic opening, but it's pretty decent. Um, and, yeah, the show's been pretty good so far. I'm definitely enjoying it. We got some interesting episodes. We learned some stuff about Ida. We 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 had some interesting progressions for kind of a long-term story plot, especially in the last episode. Episode 5 was definitely probably the most important episode of the set, and probably just in general so far, you know, I guess... I guess excluding episode one, because episode one set up the plot, but episode five was definitely a really important episode that gave us a little bit of lore on the universe, as well as a lot of um, progression on, um, we got progression on a bunch of stuff relating to Ida and like longer term like storytelling for the show, but we also even got progression on character development for um, um, a, a characters that we met earlier in this set and there was just a lot of stuff that was really good in episode 5 that was definitely my favorite episode of the set but I really enjoyed all of them they were all fun um, definitely enjoying the show so far like I said it's going to be nice because we're getting kind of a little bit of a taste of this series but with season 1 and then you know I imagine um, it'll only be up from there hopefully with season 2 and potentially beyond I don't know how many seasons they even want to do with this show um, I don't know if they want to do two, three, four, whatever the deal is, but whatever the case might be, I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, so that's pretty much that. Um, obviously links are down below to the reaction. Um, at least when this initially comes out, they will be on Megan Breach down the line. Those links might change if, uh, if necessary, I guess you could say. So I guess we'll see in that case. But uh, yeah, no, I really enjoyed this episode. Like I said, it was a lot of fun. Or th this set, I should say. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I don't really have that much else to say about the episodes. Um, what else to talk about in the video? Um, I mean, I really only talked a little bit about episode five. I didn't really talk about the episodes much at all. I guess I could actually talk about the episodes, but... You know, that's kind of the awkward thing. Like, sometimes recording the reviews immediately after finishing the reactions, it's like I'm in the zone to where I, like, keep wanting to talk about various things in the series. And other times it's like, I just finished talking about it. I don't want to keep talking about it. So it kind of depends. But uh, they were fun episodes, like I said. Um, be curious to see where the show goes and, like, to what, what progression we get in the first season. Because, um... It is interesting. It's a little different. Like we're, you know, we're tackling like obviously with She-Ra, we we um, I started the show shortly after it finished, so we, I got to tackle it as a full completed series and do all 52 episodes, you know, consecutively. Whereas here, you know, we're just tackling the first season and then we will kind of get to sit on it for however long until we get season 2. And that'll be an interesting. Um it's been a while since, you know, we were kind of 
um, especially on the Western side, it's been a while since we've really, especially with, uh, like the, really the only exceptions were like Rick and Morty and Infinity Train as far as newer Western series where I've been able to like watch them and keep up and then, you know, just, you know, get back to them as they new release. Like Rick and Morty is so slow with release, but that's kind of the main one. And then Infinity Train has been the other one. And at least for the time being, we're just done with Infinity Train. So it's interesting to kind of get back into that rhythm with Owl House and hopefully other stuff in the near future where I get to, you know, kind of like watch some of it and catch up to it and then kind of do the live reaction deal um, at the, after that point. Um, of course, I have no idea what I even want to do with season two. Like I said, it, it'll probably depend a lot on when season two um, actually comes out. Um, as far as I know, there is currently no like direct news other than the fact that it's confirmed. There's like no specifics on when we're getting Owl House season two, um, but probably when it comes out will determine a bit of how I watch it. But I'm kind of in a break right now of watching like stuff live, anyways, because I was watching a fair few things live between like anime stuff with like ReZero and Attack on Titan, and then also uh, Ruby as well. So there was a lot of stuff going on there, but. Um, uh, it was, it was interesting with all of that stuff, but, um, you know, right now I'm currently not doing any live series. I'm just, you know, I guess I, I did the one off Infinity Train. I do the Hell of a Boss episodes that come out, but those don't come out like weekly or anything, but just focusing on my rotational series and just, you know, making progress on those has been really nice. And of course, Owl House being one of them, um, it's nice to get to this and I'm really excited for what will be after it. I think a lot of people will be really excited for the series that will replace this. Um, I will probably announce that I will announce, I'll announce the Owl House replacement series in my next, um, update video, which, uh, assuming I have a perfect May of uploading videos every day in May, June 1st will probably be the next update video. Um, that, that, that'd be the plan hopefully is that I, I go, I, I post something every May in every day in May and then. Uh, June 1st, I would probably post an update video, and at that point, I think we'll be, you know, obviously be further along in Owl House, and pretty, not that far off from the new series that will replace it, and we can uh, announce that then, which will be really cool, because I'm really excited to uh, do the series after this, because um, it's one that I've heard quite a bit of good things about, and uh, it's one that I've been excited for, so I'm looking forward to that, and I mean, Owl House also fits into that. Uh, mold as well of course though and I'm uh, enjoying the show so far I'm not like I said not like super super impressed but again a lot of western animation animated shows do kind of build slowly so I kind of went into that expecting it but I do think that I imagine by the time we're caught up by the end of the first season I'll have a pretty good idea of where I stand with this show um, at least as far as like an early impressions because obviously the show could get better or worse over time but as far as my impressions on season one, and I'm, I think I'm going to like this show quite a bit because I think there really there are a lot of things that are being set in motion, and I I am noticing that, that at least so far through the first five episodes, I've pretty much enjoyed each episode more than the last. So I definitely think there's an upward trajectory there, and a, um and, and and as I get more comfortable with the series, I am enjoying the episodes quite a bit. So I definitely think I'm going to really like this series. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how that goes about. I hope you guys are enjoying the reactions too as well, of course. Um, like I said, we got four more to do, so hopefully you guys are excited for what's next because I'm definitely excited to see where this goes. Um, I'm excited to see how Luz progresses with her magic training. I'm excited to see all the stuff relating to Ida because she seems to be kind of more of the the character that's going to drive the plot at least early on. Uh, and Luz is going to kind of just be along for the ride, so to speak. But we'll see how it plays out. I'll be curious to see it all unfold. But for the time being, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. Um, you guys can check out the links down below if you want to support the channel on Patreon or Discord or all those other things you want to uh, potato. But uh, thanks for watching. Peace.